Hello, this is a video demonstration um, on side chaining. Um, we're using Cubase for this and we're using Cubase instruments for this. So first of all, on track one, I've got a Groove Agent 1 drum track and on track two, I've got a Hallium 1 pad. Um, what I'm gonna do is put a compressor on the pad and use the bass drum of the drum track to trigger the compressor um, through the side chain. Um, you'll hear the effect of this as the um, tutorial goes on. Right, so first of all, I'm going to separate the bass drum. I need to separate the bass drum from the other drums, so I'm opening up um, a separate channel, which I'm going to route on Groove Agent 1. I'm going to route the bass drum to. Um, in the right corner of the screen where it says Techno Kit there, you can see that it says Stereo 1. Now I've selected the voice for the bass drum. I'm going to make the bass drum only Stereo 2. Um, so we've done that. And as soon as I've done that, as soon as I open up a new channel in the mixer, you'll now get another channel in the mixer of Cubase. Um, it's called Groove Agent 2 in this case. Obviously you can change the name to whatever you want. But I'm not going to bother with that for this demonstration. So I'll solo that channel and you can hear it's just the bass drum on its own now. Obviously the reason for this is because I don't want the snare or the hi-hats to be triggering the compressor. I just want the beat of the bass drum to be triggering the compressor. Right, so having done that, we separated the bass drum. I'm now going to go to the string pad sound on the Hallium 1 on the channel of that and I'm going to open the compressor. Cubase compressor, standard Cubase compressor and I'm going to select the side chain button. This is the important thing. You must select the side chain button. And once you've done that, as long as that's selected, you can now go to the bass drum channel again. And in the send, you can, you'll can you see that there's an extra routing option, which is to the side chain of the compressor. You send that to the compressor, turn it up. The more you turn it up, the more you'll hear the effect on the compressor. Um, so if you just want a very subtle effect, don't send the whole signal. If you want to hear it blatantly, send the whole of the signal, which we've done here so we can hear for the benefit of this demonstration. Now can you hear the effect on the strings? It's got staccato in time with the bass drum. Go to your compressor and play around with the controls. The lower the threshold, the more staccato the effect. The higher the ratio, the more severe the effect. So not about the threshold and the ratio. Um, also the attack and the release will have a bearing on the effect. A very fast attack, and you can hear the attack now, makes it very staccato. If you want more of a swell, open up the attack. All these all these different settings, you'll hear them on lots of pop and dance records. Different settings on the compressor, have a play around, see what you see what you can get. Right, at the beginning of the track, I've got a bass drum on its own anyway, there's no other drums within that track. And again, you can hear that bass drum is affecting the string sound. One effect you may want to do is have the staccato on the strings but not hear the bass drum. So how can we do that? How can we not hear the bass drum but still have it affecting the um, compressor? Well, quite easy. You change the send to a pre-fade. Pre-fade means that the send goes before the fader. The fader, the bass drum volume fader has no effect on the amount you're sending to the compressor. It's the, it's the same setting you would use if you were sending your signal to a monitor mix. <coughs> there you can see as I put it back on pre-fade. It's gone orange on that. You can see, I can turn the bass drum right down so we're not hearing it. And it's still having an effect on the compressor. We can still hear the effect on the string sounds. And I can gradually turn the bass drum up and it makes no difference to the effect on the string sound. If that wasn't set in pre-fade, the more I turn the fader down, the less effect you'd have on the strings. And with no bass drum, you would have no staccato effect, no choppy effect. Um, so let's automate that. Let's use Cubase automation and bring the bass drum in gradually. So I've selected the read and write on the automation of the channel. And I'm slowly going to bring the fader up. So the bass drum will come in gradually. It will be in time with the, the effect on the strings strings pad. Turn the right 
off the W, but we'll leave the green read on. We'll play it back, the automation should kick in. It's reading the data we've put in. And it should bring the bass drum on gradually. Chaining. That's basic side chaining to affect a string pad. Um, we've also covered how to open up another channel in Groove Agent and a little bit on automation, very basic automation in Cubase. I hope the um, tutorial's been helpful to you and look out for my next one.